So hi students, I am, this is Mrs. Baya here and I will be doing this video to show you guys a little bit of the math part of your lesson. So we have our anticipatory set here and look at this problem. Two thirds times two fifths equals what? This is something that you have worked on last week. So basically what you would do when you're multiplying fractions is you would multiply across. Two times two equals four. Three times five equals 15. Okay, moving on. This is your standard for this week. The highly proficient student can solve, model, and create real world division problems using fractions. What does that mean? It means I can, I can apply and extend previous understandings of multiplication and division to multiply and divide fractions. The essential questions this week is what is division? How do you divide fractions and whole numbers? What are real world situations? How do you identify when to divide using fractions? Okay, so here are some things you may need to help you with solving these problems. We have our, first off, just follow the red circles that you might see. We have our numbers here. 3 over 5 is the same as a fraction. It is called a fraction. Anytime we are using the fraction bar, this line that goes between the numbers, it is a fraction. The top number is our numerator. It is also known as a dividend. The bottom number is our denominator. It is also known as a divisor. So these words you would have to know in order to divide when you need to. And this is a way that you can divide this. So basically, if you were to use a divisor bar, a dividend bar, your numerator will go inside and your denominator will go on the out, I mean, yeah, denominator will go on the outside. So this is your dividend, this is your divisor. Okay, moving on, we have reciprocals. Reciprocals just means the same thing as word flip. So you're basically just flipping the number that you have. If you have three fourths, you're going to flip it. Your reciprocal is going to be four thirds. If you have a whole number, a whole number is one number by itself. If you have a whole number, you would have to change that whole number to a fraction by putting a um, fraction bar under the number and adding one. Now you have a fraction. So when you get the reciprocal of eight over one, you come up with one over eight. Then you have your steps to simplify fractions. This tells you how to look for the smallest number that you can use to divide into these numbers. So here they added, they wrote down the numbers that go into nine. If you look at the number nine, nine goes into one, and then it says three. So if you look under three, there's nine. Then if you look under nine, there's nine. So 
they gave you all those numbers because it all shows up in there on how to divide those. And then you look for the, the biggest number. We have one and three, so they use three. When you divide three into nine, you get three. When you divide three into 33, you get 11. So your answer comes up to three elevenths. That's your simplified fraction. The next thing is improper fraction. That is an improper fraction. It is when the numerator is bigger than the denominator. Then you have mixed numbers. Mixed numbers are these. It's when you have a whole number with a fraction behind it. So in order to um, find out what the, how to divide the, I mean, how to get an improper fraction, when you have a number like this, a mixed number, you have to change it to an improper fraction before you multiply, add, subtract, or divide fractions. So what you would do is you would multiply here. After you get your answer, you add this part. Then you get your answer. This five is your denominator. So that five just goes straight across. You keep your denominator. And then this one up here is your multiplication table. If you have time, pause the movie and write it down so it can help you. Moving on, dividing fractions anchor chart. Here is one anchor chart that you will have to remember. KFC. K means keep the first fraction the same. F means flip the second fraction. C means change the division, si division sign to a multiplication sign. How, what does that look like? It looks like this. Dividing fractions. Keep the first one change, flip the second one, you need the reciprocal, so seven over two, and then change the middle sign to a multiplication, and then divide across. Seven times three is 21, four times two is eight. I hope you guys understand this because this is what we're gonna work on. So, always keep in mind KFC. So here is one problem I'm going to show you how to do. If I use KFC, you keep the first fraction. So this fraction, you keep the first fraction. 3 fifth. And then you flip the second fraction. And then you change your sign to a multiplication. And then multiply across. Three times two is six. Fraction bar, five times three is 15. Are we done? No, we gotta simplify this. So 615 can be divided by a number that they have in common. So if we do our lowest common factor bar, we'll put six here and 15 here. So basically we're just looking for numbers that can go into six and 15. We know one can go into both of them, two can go into six, but not 15. Three can go into six and it can go into 15. Four cannot go into either one. Five cannot go into six, but it can go into 15. So if you notice here, we have this number that is the same, three. So we're gonna divide both sides by three. And this, Simplification is going to determine this. 
Three goes into six how many times? We have three, six, that's two. Three goes into 15 how many times? We have three, six, nine, 12, 15. That's five. So our answer comes out to two fifths. Do you guys see that? Okay, now the next thing on our essential question was that we were going to learn how to divide by whole numbers. Always keep the KFC in mind because that's going to help me do this. So we have a whole number right here. How do we change that to a division? You put a line here and you put a one underneath. Now we have a fraction. So we're going to keep the first one. We're going to write it just the way it's written. Flip the second one. Get the reciprocal. 5 over 6. And then change the sign. So 9 times 5 equals 45. 6 times 1 equals six. Are we done? No, because we got to find out how much this really is. So we are going to divide. 45, the top number always goes underneath. So we put 45 here, six on the outside. How many times does six go into 45? I know six and six is 36. If we add one more, it's 42. So seven goes in here. Six times seven is 42. If you don't believe me, you can go back to the multiplication table and check it out. Five minus two is three. So since there is no more numbers after here, we're gonna draw our fraction line after the seven. Our remainder becomes our numerator. Our um, denominator becomes our, our divisor becomes our denominator. So we have seven and three sixths. Are we done? No because we are missing one more action. Simplify. Simplify means we got to simplify this fraction. Just a fraction, not the whole number, just a fraction. So we're going to bring the seven over here and draw a fraction bar. What number do these two go? What number do they have in common? So we're going to do our bar, do three, Six, both of, them, both of them can have one. Can they both have two? I know two can go into six, but it cannot go into three. Do they have three? Yes, three can go into this one and three can go into this one. So there's the number that we're going to divide the top and bottom number with, three. So three divided by three, three goes into three, one time. Oops. Just, this is supposed to be the number one. And then three goes into six, two times. So your answer is seven and one half. Okay, here we're going to work together to do this. I know you guys remember the steps. So what's the first thing that we do? Very good, we keep the first. So we're gonna write two fifths just the way it looks. We're gonna flip the second. Flip means the bottom number goes on top and the top number goes on the bottom. So we're just switching them around. Then we're changing our sign. OK, 
Okay, when we multiply that, two times four equals eight. Five times three equals 15. Okay, these cannot be simplified because they both do not have a number that can be some, that both the numerator and the denominator can be simplified by. So this is our answer. Easy, right? Okay, let's go to the next one. Using whole numbers. What do we do? Put a line under here and put a one under it. Now we have two fractions to work with. So you're gonna keep the first fraction, which is 3 fourths, and then flip the second one, which is one over two, one half, and then change the sign to a multiplication. And our answer comes out to three times one, is three, four times two is eight. So neither one of these numbers can be simplified by one common factor. So this is our answer. Okay, now, do you, if you have any questions, ask. You can come to my class, Mrs. Baez's class, or you can go to Mr. Cruz's class and ask him. So I'm giving you permission to come to my class if you need to. Your exit ticket, this is a practice. Try it. Always remember to use KFC. Okay, and that's it guys. Hope this makes this easier for you. And I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye.